Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial here. Um, this one is about how to uh, bring uh, the tire from the tire tutorial um, into one uh, scene together with that rim from the rim tutorial. And some of you guys um, might have noticed that I've uploaded a video about this um, a few days ago, but I uh, deleted it um, a day later. And that was because I made it, in, well, in my case, uh, or my eyes, a very embarrassing mistake. It wasn't a mistake, but a, a complicated way to um, center the pivot of the tire here. And uh, thanks to uh, the big boss, 1212, uh, he made a comment on, on uh, that video that I deleted already, um, why I didn't center the pivot uh, only. And he was absolutely right. So thank you. Um, so this is why I created a new video here. Um, so, all right, the thing is, um, what I want to do, I want to bring the two pieces of geometry into, into a fresh new scene. I mean, you could take the tire and export it and bring it into this scene um, uh, where you rendered the rim with, with the HDR and the uh, backdrop and all that stuff. Um, yeah, you could do that. But um, this video is about how to bring the two pieces, um, or all the pieces t together in one fresh scene. Okay, so let me um, open up first um, the scene um, of that rim. So I head to my rim to, um, projects folder here and uh, scene folder and I'm gonna open up um, the 06 final render finish in my case. And I don't wanna save this one here. Um, let me go to perspective view. And what do you see here? Yeah, that's my final scene with that HDR and stuff like that. So let me select first all the pieces of the geometry that belong to that rim. So shift select all the bolts and the, the center piece here and the vent. And I think that's all we need. Um, first of all, let me group this, hit control G. And um, what I could do is uh, to hide everything else in my scene, just uh, hit alt H. Um, and now if I hit W to go to the move tool, you see that the pivot of that group is sitting in the center of the grid. And I want to move it to the center of that rim. So first of all, what we could do is uh, hit 1 to go to low poly view here. Um, another thing with all, with all the uh, geometry selected is uh, delete the history. Um, and now, okay, we could say center pivot. So I've got a button here on my shelf. So if I center the pivot, yeah, it looks, uh, it moved the pivot definitely, but um, it moved the center of the pivot, um, um, or better, it moved the pivot to the center of that whole geometry. And that's not what I want. I want the pivot here sitting exactly in the center between those two edges here, because that's the center of that rim. Um, to do this, um, and maybe it comes a little bit uh, more clear if I show you that. So if I select one of those edges here and uh, make a split right in the center, so control, right click, go to Ettering Utilities, to Ettering and Split. So if I go to the top view um, and select uh, that group again, so I hit uh, with the one object here selected, hit my up arrow key on the, on the keyboard, and um, that's uh, that's uh, going to the group. So now you see the pivot here, yeah, it's not exactly in the center uh, where that line is, and that's what I want. So to change uh, this, okay, hit D, and then move the pivot uh, first and X, and then while still pressing D, I press V to uh, point snap and the middle mouse over one of those, those vertices here in the center. And there you go. So now we have the uh, pivot here in the center of, yeah, exactly on that line here, okay? So now let's move this, uh, all the, uh, the whole group to the center of the grid. So hold on X and then move it in X to grid snap. And there you go. Uh, yeah, and that's um, all we need to do with this uh, scene here. So again, let's delete the history. And if you want to, let's freeze the transforms. And now let's export this. Uh, go here to file, go to export selection. And I am gonna export this as a Maya binary. Um, I call this uh, 
the rim so I already have a file called the rim but let me overwrite this and there you go so now we are ready to do the same stuff uh, with the tire so let me open up the tire tread scene here and that's in my case the P really P0 tire go to scenes and mine is tutorial file.mb let me open that up and here you see the tire uh, let me turn off the resolution gate okay so um, and we have the same uh, stuff here we have the pivot here um, in the center of the grid and I wanted to be in the center of the tire and that was the mis the mistake or the complicated way I, I did in the first video um, so all you need to do because this is a symmetrical object is uh, just press center pivot and you're good to go um, and now let's uh, hold down X and uh, for grid snapping and move it to the center of the grid. Um, all right. So with that done, let's uh, let delete the history and freeze the transforms as well. And now we are going to export this tire. Go to File, go to Export Selection, and let's call this the tire. And as you can see here, the same stuff. I have to overwrite this, and there you go. And now let's uh, open up a new scene so I've got a new scene I don't want to save this one here um, and let's import first of all the tire that we just exported open that up there you go and the cool thing about the uh, export um, uh, Maya file is um, if you go to hypershade and it automatically uh, exports exports uh, the shader so if I go to input and output graphs you see that uh, the bump map is, is still connected to that shader here and yeah let's import go to file go to import um, let's head to that uh, rim folder where we exported the rim and I called mine the underscore rim let me import this and there you go okay what you see now is um, that the tire is a little bit too small or the rim is a little bit too large mm, but in, the, in this case uh, I'm gonna scale the tire and um, now that we ma uh, made sure that the pivot here of both objects is right in the center um, we only have to scale this first of all I want to scale this only in uh, Y and Z so to do this uh, hit R to scale and then hit control and scale in X and that's uh, gonna scale this in Y and Z now to a point where I want to have it something like this and then uh, let me turn on a wireframe when shaded um, let me select that rim group um, so select one object of the group hit the up arrow key and then hit 3 to go to a smooth version or smooth preview and then uh, we obviously have to scale this tire out in X a little bit to a point like this alright and I mean that's it that's it so you get all the shaders um, and the geometry here in one scene in a new fresh scene and now it's only a matter of um, you know, creating a shader for that tire a nice like rubber shader and then yeah um, create a nice lighting setup some some simple render setting render settings and then render this out but I think that's uh, that's gonna take uh, another five to ten minutes so I'm gonna pause this video and if I have the time um, the next days um, I will create a second uh, video about creating the shader and some nice render settings so all right um, see you in the next video